Introduction Why are you so excited, Vedika? Because we are leaving for Jaipur tonight, Latika. Wow, that's great, Vedika. At what time will you leave? Our train departs at 21.30 hours. We leave the house 50 minutes in advance. In short, you will leave at 8.40 p.m.? Am I right, Vedika? <laughs> yes, Latika. In this lesson, you will learn about time. 24-hour clock 24-hour clock is commonly used to specify the time of train and plane departures, take-off time of space shuttles, time of attack by the armed forces, etc. In order to understand it better, let us compare 12-hour and 24-hour clocks. Convert time from 12-hour clock to 24-hour clock. Convert time from 24-hour clock to 12-hour clock. Let us learn in detail. Comparison with 12-hour clock. This is a 12-hour clock. It divides a 24-hour day into two equal halves made up of 12 hours each. The first half of the day stretches from 12 midnight to 12 noon and the hours are indicated by AM. The second half of the day stretches from 12 noon to 12 midnight and the hours are indicated by PM. The 24-hour clock numbers the 24 hours of the day from 1 to 24. It denotes the start of the day as 0, 0, 0, 0 hours and the end as 2400 hours. The first two digits in the time represent hours and the last two minutes. The 24-hour clock does not use AM or PM to differentiate between the first and the second halves of the day. Conversion to 24-hour clock. Both the 12-hour and 24-hour clocks denote the first 12 hours of the day in an identical manner. 7.30 a.m. on the 12-hour clock is represented as 0730 hours on the 24-hour clock. Similarly, 11.45 a.m. is represented as 1145 hours. The 24-hour clock denotes all times corresponding to a.m. on the 12-hour clock with values smaller than 1200. After 12 noon, the two clocks differ in their representation of time. 1 p.m. on the 12-hour clock is represented as 1300 hours on the 24-hour clock. 1300 is nothing but 1200 plus 0100. Similarly, 11 p.m. on the 12-hour clock is represented as 2300 hours on the 24-hour clock. 2300 is nothing but 1200 plus 1100. The 12-hour clock restarts measurement of time from 1 for the second half of the day. But the 24-hour clock measures time continuously. It denotes all times corresponding to p.m. on the 12-hour clock with values greater than 1200. Conversion from 24-hour clock Let us now convert 24-hour times into 12-hour times. This digital clock shows the time as 2020 hours. We can write 2020 as 1200 plus 0820. The 12-hour time is 820. As 2020 is greater than 1200, we use PM with a 12-hour time. Therefore, the corresponding 12-hour time is 820 PM. Latika's family arrives at the railway station and checks the departure display. 
Their train for Jaipur is delayed. It will now depart at 5.30 hours the next day. What is the corresponding 12-hour time? As 0530 is smaller than 1200, the 12-hour time is the same and we use AM with it. Therefore, the corresponding 12-hour time is 5.30 a.m. Time Conversion Here are some facts about time. One year is equal to 52 weeks. One month is equal to 4 weeks. One year is equal to 365 days. One month is equal to 30 days. One fortnight is equal to 15 days. One week is equal to 7 days. One day is equal to 24 hours. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. Let us put these facts to use and perform. Conversions from larger to smaller units. Conversions from smaller to larger units. Larger to smaller units. Rashmi's father has left for Dehradun. He will be there for a week and seven hours. Express his stay in Dehradun in hours. One week is equal to seven days. One day is equal to 24 hours. Seven days is equal to 24 multiplied by seven is equal to 168 hours. One week and seven hours is equal to 168 plus 7 is equal to 175 hours. Rashmi's father will be in Dehradun for 175 hours. Karishma takes 22 minutes and 30 seconds to finish her lunch. Express the time taken by Karishma to finish her lunch in seconds. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. 22 minutes is equal to 22 into 60 is equal to 1320 seconds. 22 minutes and 30 seconds is equal to 1320 plus 30 is equal to 1350 seconds. Karishma takes 1350 seconds to finish her lunch. Sabah's brother has returned home after completing his education abroad. He was in USA for two years and five weeks. Express Sabah's brother stay in the USA in days. One year is equal to 365 days. Two years is equal to 365 into 2 is equal to 730 days. One week is equal to 7 days. 5 weeks is equal to 7 into 5 is equal to 35 days. 2 years and 5 weeks is equal to 730 plus 35 is equal to 765 days. Sabah's brother stayed in the USA for 765 days. Smaller to larger units. Rajni spent 1,232 seconds in the swimming pool on a particular day. Express it in minutes and seconds. 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute. 1,232 seconds is equal to 1,232 divided by 60 minutes. To divide 1,232 by 60, write the two numbers as shown. Take the first two digits of 1,232 together, that is 12. 12 is too small to hold 60. Now consider the first three digits together. 1, 2, 3. 123 is big enough to hold 2 times 60, that is 120. Therefore, write 2 on the right and 120 beneath 123. Subtract and write the difference 3 below. Bring 2 down. The new number formed is 32. 32 cannot hold 60. So write 0 to the right of 2. 
there are no more digits left in 1232. That brings us to the end of the division operation. 1232 divided by 60 is 20 minutes and 32 seconds. Therefore, Rajni spent 20 minutes and 32 seconds in the swimming pool. A flight takes 34 hours to reach its destination. Let's express it in days. 24 hours is equal to 1 day. 34 hours is equal to 34 divided by 24 days. To divide 34 by 24, write the two numbers as shown. 34 is big enough to hold 24 just once. Therefore, write 1 on the right and 24 beneath 34. Subtract and write the difference 10 below. There are no more digits left in 34. That brings us to the end of the division operation. 34 divided by 24 is 1 day and 10 hours. Therefore, the flight takes 1 day and 10 hours. Operations on time. Let us now learn to perform the following operations on time. Addition, subtraction. Addition. Let us understand how to add two times. Latika studied for 3 hours and 40 minutes on Monday and 4 hours and 50 minutes on Tuesday. How much total time did Latika spend studying? Time Latika spent on studies on Monday is equal to 3 hours 40 minutes. Time Latika spent on studies on Tuesday is equal to 4 hours 50 minutes. Total time Latika spent studying is equal to 7 hours 90 minutes. We know that 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So we subtract 60 from 90 minutes and add 1 to 7 hours. Therefore, Latika spent 8 hours and 30 minutes studying. During the summer break, Vedika spent 3 weeks and 4 days with her aunt and two weeks and six days with her uncle. How much time did Vedika spend with her relatives? Time Vedika spent with her aunt is three weeks, four days. Time Vedika spent with her uncle is two weeks, six days. Total time Vedika spent with relatives is five weeks, ten days. We know that one week is equal to seven days. So, we subtract 7 from 10 days and add 1 to 5 weeks. Therefore, Vedika spends 6 weeks and 3 days with her relatives. Subtraction Ashish slept 10 hours and 35 minutes on a Sunday. His brother Bhavesh slept 6 hours and 50 minutes on the same day. How much more did Ashish sleep than Bhavesh? Ashish slept for 10 hours, 35 minutes. Bhavesh slept for 6 hours, 50 minutes. We cannot subtract 50 from 35, so we borrow an hour. We add 60 to minutes and subtract 1 from hours. Now we can perform the subtraction. Therefore, Ashish slept 3 hours and 45 minutes more than Bhavesh. Asha begins work at 7.30 a.m. and stops working at 10.15 p.m. How long does Asha work? We first express the times according to the 24-hour clock. Asha stops work at 22.15 hours, that is 1200 plus 1015. Asha begins work at 0730 hours. We cannot subtract 30 from 15. So we borrow an hour. We add 60 minutes and subtract 1 from hours. Let us subtract now. Therefore, Asha works 14 hours and 45 minutes. Vani left for her grandmother's place at 6.40 p.m. on Friday and reached at 10.30 a.m. on Sunday. How much time did she spend travelling? Friday 6.40 p.m. to Saturday 6.40 p.m. is equal to 24 hours. Let us now use the 24-hour clock. 
Travelling time from Saturday 6.40 p.m. to Saturday 12 midnight is equal to 2400 hours minus 1840 hours, which is equal to 5 hours and 20 minutes. Travelling time from Sunday 12 midnight to Sunday 10.30 a.m. is equal to 10 hours 30 minutes. Total travelling time is equal to 39 hours and 50 minutes. Therefore, Vani spent 39 hours and 50 minutes travelling. Ria's father was born on 25th December 1967. He started his business on 15th March 1991. How old was he when he started working? Number of years from 25th December 1967 to 24th December 1990, which is 1990 minus 1967, means 23 years. Number of months from 25th December 1990 to 24th February 1991 is 2 months. Number of days from 25th February to 14th March 1991 is 4 plus 14 is equal to 18 days. Therefore, Rita's father was 23 years, 2 months and 18 days old when he started working. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The 24-hour clock denotes the start of the day as 0000, zero, zero, zero hours and the end as 2400 zero, zero hours. It denotes all times corresponding to AM on the 12 hour clock with values smaller than 1200. Zero, zero. It denotes all times corresponding to PM on the 12 hour clock with values larger than 1200. Zero, zero. We multiply to convert larger units of time into smaller units. We divide to convert smaller units of time into larger units.